What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Just got out in the water with my boy Sean Weeda. We're gonna go back out after. We're going back out after. We ain't catch no big ones in the last video. The videos you guys have seen, no giants. That is the goal that I didn't catch one great big one. Don't know what it's gonna be. Hopefully it's it's a big one. I guess the Florida, a Florida lunker, what were they call like Florida trophy catch is eight pounds. So I'm gonna try to maybe goal that eight pound round or eight pound or bust. Or bust. <laughs> Okay, let's do a weed man. There's a bite. First thing bite of the dang day. There you go. Flip. Flip this one up. Flip. Eat. Flip this one up. Not a big one. Got a bite. Dude, look. There he is. Oh. Oh, oh god, goodness, big one, dude. That's a big one. That might be the one. Yeah, hold up. I'll have you get him. See, we're after an eight pounder. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's a, that's a post spawner. You think that one's already gone? I think so. Look at that. Yeah. That's a dang freaking good one, though. I don't know if it's eight, but he's he's, he's close to a seven for sure. That's a good one. All right. Gosh. All right, we gotta get, we gotta keep getting it. That's that's a dang good, good start. Good start. I don't think that's an eight pounder, but that's a, it's a pretty big one. Good start. Give me some dap, weeds. Give me some dap, buddy. Heck yeah, buddy. Good job. All right. Good start. One thing I always try to do, like, you know, when you're fishing with your buddy, you sort of, one guy fishes the edge and the other guy flips back in. And that sort of seems to be a good little deal. So you sort of figure out, okay, throughout the day, because they'll go way back in and then they'll go, you know, and they'll be on the edge. You sort of got to figure it out throughout the day because there'll be a little pattern for these flipping fish, just like anything else, you know. Like where you flip in the morning, you might catch them on boat docks and on the post, but then Later in the day, they move back in. So you just sort of keep them honest every which way you go. Weed man, weed man, got him on. There you go. Another little point. That was just straight hydrilla. Good fish. Heck yeah. Weed man, got him on. Flip fish, flip him. Yeah. So you always got to pay attention to that little straight hydrilla, because or just any really whatever they're on. We've got to fight on penny wart. Bite on hyacinth and a bite on hydrilla. It's normally a pattern though. I slide. Just pitching. Digging? Nope. Nice one. Nice one, huh? That's a freaking three and a half pounder. And then anywhere else you'd be like, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a nice one that's a pretty solid fish. I mean, that's a really nice Florida fish. You get that on the... On the initial drop in there? Mm -hmm. I seen you go... Eee! That prop bait, I mean, what do you do? Just bloop, bloop? Yeah, just bloop, 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 until you start firing them. <laughs> Spawner <and> reeds. <laughs> Probably so. There's one. Not an eight pounder though. 
I love when they bite that thing. Doop. All right, y'all. We are calling it today. It's a little early, but we got a lot of stuff to get done. I'm actually getting ready to leave for a little trip. But uh, hey, one right at seven pounds. Not the the necessarily the mark that we were looking setting to, to to be today, but another really nice fish. Seven pounder is definitely not a little one. That's for sure. Um, but hey, you know, I, I always just enjoy getting out here, going fishing flipping a lot of these mats and stuff you're not normally going to get a lot of bites but the bites that you do normally get are pretty big and you guys know if you watch the channel a little bit I, I, it's hard for me to put that flipping stick down it's been a lot of fun so hopefully you guys learned a little bit maybe you enjoyed this drop a comment below let me know how everything's going your fishing season we'll see y'all next time